I'm Jimmy Raven, I'm the Fortify Product Manager, and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, our new uh, tool for Visual Studio 2017, Security System. Um, Security System is a uh, lightweight installer integrated directly into your IDE um, that leverages the Visual Studio built-in error lists and all other um, components of Visual Studio to help you find security uh, issues as you type code uh, or by analyzing an entire solution. Uh, if you're familiar with our static code analyzer product um, that does deep dive uh, data flow um, and a much more comprehensive analysis, Security Assistant is the lightweight real-time spell checker uh, to help developers find a significant portion of issues uh, before ever checking that code in uh, to source control, where it can be leveraged by a more robust tool like Fortify SCA. Um, so the idea is to, as you type, uh, as you type code in the window, we can instantaneously find that, any issues, uh, any file that you've opened. Um, but we do also have the ability to analyze the entire solution. And we have a specially curated set of rule packs uh, for Visual Studio that include, include both structural and configuration rules uh, that have been tuned for high likelihood, meaning a high confidence of issues. There should be a very low uh, in terms of uninteresting findings. Uh, and a number of other things that I'll show you uh, here in the product itself. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up Visual Studio 2017. All right. Uh, so here we are in Visual Studio 2017, uh, taking a look at Fortify Security Assistant. Um, Fortify Security Assistant can be installed by a developer simply by coming to Tools and going to Extensions and Updates. Um, we have posted the Security Assistant uh, for Visual Studio Fortify um, uh, extension on the uh, Visual Studio Marketplace. Uh, alternatively, you can go uh, into your web browser and just uh, Google for the Visual Studio Marketplace and then search for Fortify Security Assistant and you will find us. Um, you can download that V6 installer. It's uh, only 20 megabytes and there are no, are no other dependencies or requirements on any other Fortify component. It's all self-contained. Uh, once you've downloaded the V6 installer and run it, um, there are just a couple of configuration uh, options. Here, uh, during the installation, it will ask you for your license. You can see I have the license selected here. Uh, this is the rule pack update server. Um, so if uh, you, know, you don't have any firewall or other issues, you can just go ahead and click check for updates. Right? And we will update the rule packs that Security Assistant use. We have specially curated a, a subset of rules for Fortify Security Assistant, for the languages we support, which are you know, C Sharp and CSHTML and, and ASPX and all the configuration options uh, for a .NET solution. Um, and we have uh, curated them for high confidence issues. Um, so though it is a separate rule pack from our normal static code analyzer rule pack, if you're familiar with that. Um, and it's a smaller list uh, that are all focused on structural and configuration related vulnerabilities. Um, Security Assistant has its own specially designed, incredibly fast next generation uh, analyzers uh, in both structural and configuration. Um, if you are unable uh, to reach update.fortify.com because of some network concern in, you know, in, in your enterprise, uh, you can uh, simply browse um, to this directory, right? If you go into C users, your username, app data, local Fortify, you'll see the rule packs.zip file. Um, we have made that uh, available to you on the support portal, and you can manually download the, the rules and then just copy it into this directory. Um, and we will pick up the fact that you have updated your rules manually. So we have that option for manual use. Um, the logs are also here. Uh, so you get to note this directory. If you ever have an issue uh, or need to file a support ticket, you can find your logs right in that folder. Okay, um, so we are ready to get started. Um, I'm going to start by doing a full solution analysis. We'll show you in a little bit our real-time capabilities as you type code. You can find vulnerabilities, but the first time you use Security Assistant with a new uh, solution or project, you're probably going to want to go ahead and analyze all the files in that solution. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So we'll go ahead and analyze the entire solution, every file in this solution, uh, with both our structural and configuration analyzers. Um, and I will mention 
uh, that uh, we are able to take advantage of some caching uh, in Roslyn. So if we that took about 14 seconds. If we re-ran that scan um, a second time, you'll see it, it's going to take a little bit less time. That one only took five seconds, and that's because uh, of the caching we're able to take advantage of with the Roslyn compiler. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close that. So here is the default Visual Studio error list where we uh, put all of our findings into the warnings tab. They are denoted by the uh, bracket fortify, uh, and you can see the description of these issues. Um, if I were to double click this vulnerability, um, you'll see that we are highlighting this. Um, we have a hard-coded password which may compromise system security. So this is a critical issue as denoted by the red coloring, um, and we have a hard-coded password. Um, we can click on another issue, and it's going to take us to this vulnerability. Let's go ahead and open this one. All right, and you can see the uh, the method is either empty or does not include the function call. So, you know, as we you go through these issues, right, double clicking these, taking a look at uh, the flag, debugging messages, um, you know, help attackers learn about the system. What you'll notice is this uh, little squiggle here is actually configured in Visual Studio. That's a Visual Studio markup option. So uh, the same as what you can use uh, with IntelliSense uh, and Visual Studio's built-in capabilities around uh, some of the code quality or um, you know compilation issues that they highlight. Um, we, if you change that, you can change that to highlight you know in a yellow color if you'd like. You can change the color of the squiggle. Uh, that's all Visual Studio specific, so we're leveraging that same built-in functionality. Um, if you do find issues that you would like, uh, you're not interested uh, in fixing, um, you can right-click on an issue and say suppress category. Right? That will suppress the subcategory. And I want to show you that in um, if you look in the root of the solution, where your solution is saved, you will see the creation of a Fortify Ignore file. And if we were to open this Fortify Ignore file, we're going to see the subcategory that we just suppressed. You can check this Fortify Ignore file into your source repository, share it with others. It just needs to be placed in the root of your solution. And this allows you to suppress issues and then share that with other developers uh, if there are certain issues that you wish Fortify to not notify you about. If we take a quick look, um, I, what I'd also like to do is to, uh, if we right click on an issue, we can say view vulnerability details. And this, uh, we are leveraging the same uh, rules that Fortify SCA leverages. So the same details and recommendations that we provide with our SCA rule packs, we're also using those same rules for security system. Right? That's one of the advantages we had is we have thousands of quality rules that we can leverage. So while we built new analyzers and we take advantage um, of the ASTs available to us in the IEDE, from a translation perspective, the same rich results are available to you uh, in terms of understanding the vulnerability and fixing the vulnerability. So let's take a look at the security assistance uh, real-time capability. I've shown you how we can do a full solution analysis of all of our files, but really the main um, value proposition for security system is that it will tell you about vulnerabilities as you type code without ever having to run a scan. Right? So as long as you leave it enabled, uh, we will show you in real time any potential security mistakes you make and give you an opportunity uh, to remediate those before it gets later in the life cycle. So we can see here um, that we have a fairly obvious vulnerability. Uh, Fortify is flagging this as a hard-coded password, right? pretty obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, comment out this line. Right. You can see that the issue was removed from the Fortify error list, and we are no longer flagging this as a hard-coded password. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and add that back in. Right. We just saw Fortify add the issue back to the error list, and if we hover over this issue, we can see that the hard-coded password uh, has been uh, refound, right? So it will do this for any vulnerability that we're capable of detecting that you currently have the file open. Uh, we will, uh, as you uh, interact with the code, we will, we are in real time examining those lines and telling you about any potential vulnerability. So it really is shifting, you know, security as far left as we can get it as an assistant 
to developers to help fix vulnerabilities. I do want to show you a couple of options. Um, so if we come into the Fortify Security Assistant menu and options, um, you will see once you've installed Fortify, you'll select your license, right? And here are the rule pack update server. So update.fortify.com is our rule pack server. You can simply click check for updates and we will pull and uh, update the security content with the Visual Studio Security Assistant um, for .NET uh, rule packs. So we won't pull down all the rule packs, just the ones uh, that are relevant to security system. Um, all SCA users are entitled to use this. Um, and if you would like, we do support offline uh, uploading of rule packs. If you don't have a, if you don't have access uh, to update.fortify.com because of a firewall concern or something of that nature, you can simply drop the rule packs.zip file uh, into uh, you know, your C users, um, your user you're logged in, um, app data, local, fortify, and security system, Visual Studio. You can drop the rule packs there, and we will automatically uh, pick those up um, when you start using security system. I will also mention that the log, if you ever encounter any issues or you need to, you, know, you want to troubleshoot something, if something were to arise, you can find the log file in the same location. So I hope this was helpful in terms of how to use Security Assistant. Hopefully you will uh, you know, download it, install it, and hopefully it'll provide value to uh, help you develop applications more securely.